Dr. Gomez, Dr. Gabriela Gomez, has come to us uh, from Argentina and she has witnessed a lot of the impacts of GM soybeans there. She is a specialist in the impacts of glyphosate, of Roundup, on uh, human health. And we are privileged to have your report uh, tomorrow. Uh, Dr. Gomez will update us on something that for the past two GMO free regions conferences in Europe here, Professor Carrasco from uh, Buenos Aires had briefed us on and brought up this issue bravely. Professor Carrasco has also left us uh, last year, unfortunately. And uh, so where, where do we stand in the debate about banning Roundup, about preventing the glyphosate spray of the people in the countryside in Argentina today, Dr. Gomez? Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to be here, tanto a Ronnie as a organizadores de o sea, de, ante tanta gente importante. No tenemos la suerte en Argentina de pasar de trabajar sola, ni siquiera en una ONG a este, postularme para el Parlamento Europeo ni para la diputada. So first of all I would like to thank you for the opportunity of being here, both Ronnie Gannons as well as the organizers of this conference. I'm not lucky enough to be working in an NGO in Argentina and then be able to jump into the parliament. I work uh, as an independent there. But if somebody jumped um, from working as an independent person to the parliament or as a member of the full government would be probably spread. Veo mucha gente capaz. Veo mucha teoría, pero poca realidad empírica. Eh, mostra lo que realmente pasa en América y que ustedes no tienen ni la menor idea de lo que sucede en nuestro país. Uh, en many conferences we hear lots of uh, theory and uh, sometimes I feel like I would like to see more facts, so I hope I can share some of those facts with you tomorrow about the reality of uh, my country. Eh, yo soy abogada y defiendo a los afectados por el glifosato. Todos mis colegas defienden a las empresas y no a los afectados porque es la gente humilde que no puede pagar por horario. I work as a pro bono lawyer and in defense of those people that are affected by glyphosate. So I find that most of my colleagues are on the other side working for the corporations. Y lo que ustedes van a ver mañana en mi exposición es casos reales, fotos reales, niños vivos, niños muertos, gente afectada, gente afectada y que en unos años no sabremos sobre lo que tendrán, y demostrarles también a ustedes que indirectamente están siendo fumigados gracias a la soja que nos compran. Y no se dan cuenta de que ustedes no son fumigados en sus cabezas, so what you will see tomorrow is lots of pictures uh, of children, some of them alive, some of them gone. Uh, we're going to see people that are affected by diseases that nobody exactly knows uh, what the consequences will be. And I want to show you tomorrow that you're actually being directly affected by the soil that you're buying without actually knowing about it. Thank you very much. Organic Consumers Representative Ronnie Cummings from the United States of America. He flew in today and it's my great pleasure to have you here with us for the first time at the GMO Free European uh, meeting. But uh, we are in constant contact, I think, also since at least 20 years. Ronnie, there is a new movement against GMOs in the United States. What happened? There? Well, uh, first of all, I want to apologize for everything my country has done. <laughs> all of your countries and the transnational corporations based there, like Monsanto, 
But I must say that the people of North America and South America are waking up. We've got millions against Monsanto. We understand that we have to take down the GMO empire if we're going to solve these problems of the global climate crisis, global poverty, uh, global deteriorating public health. So I'm very happy to be here as part of this new global international that's going to bring down Monsanto and usher us all into the new uh, era of not only sustainability but regeneration. Thank you.